Hello team YouTube, it's Lara Mota here, about to do my very first day at the Californian Superbike School at the absolutely beautiful Cadwell Park. If you are new here, why not subscribe to my rides? Click that bell and join the Acceleration Nation. This video is an honest appraisal of my journey over two days with the Californian Superbike School. It's worth watching until the end because you see how my attitude changes from the basics of the lessons and then the realisation of what else I could do on a bike. Hello TV YouTube, I'm here at a Californian Superbike school day, ready to do level one of four levels offered at this school. As you can see, there's a whole pile of Panigale 959s that the Californian Superbike school offer to riders. As you've probably guessed it, I've decided to do it on the Ducati Supersport S and use a little bit of my uh, tyres around the track. So I'm super excited about today. Um, I've got a lot of racing skills, but also racing bad habits. And I'm really hoping that the Californian Superbike School helped me correct a few of those things and be a safer rider on the track and on the road. There's loads of experience here today and loads of uh, beginners. So it's absolutely brilliant to mix it up and, and meet new people with a big passion for motorbikes. So all in all, super excited. Um, I'll let you know how the day progresses and fingers crossed, um, rubber side up throughout and hopefully I'll come back with some new skills and new techniques that I can share with you as this vlog progresses. First lesson is all about my throttle control and generally avoiding any other distractions to do with that. The best thing about being here today is the fact that it's essentially private Cadwell Park to practice and hone some basic skills. Now on a track day or even uh, on a test day when you're about to go racing, you don't usually get the opportunity to do that because you're full of distractions, you're full of people buzzing past you uh, and it's just tricky to find your own line and find your own rhythm. But what is going to be brilliant now is I'm going to go on track and I'm going to see what I can do on the bike without the hustle and bustle of other people around me. And money really can't buy that, but actually it can, <laughs> the Superbike School. Um, so I'm, I'm super excited and I'll get back to you once I've spent my first time out on track. I am about to head on the track for the first time to do my first drills of level one. I've had some lessons in the classroom and I'm just having a quick check with the people that release me to make sure that I know what drill I'm about to do. So Cadwell Park, here we come. Also, I'm really annoyed I didn't do that Velcro piece up in my leathers. Try not to look at it. Thanks, bye. Here are a couple of the expertly trained superbike coaches, totally ready to help you with any issues and give you really positive, honest and realistic feedback. Well worth their time. Quick bath, a um, bit of an itch, and we're ready to go. So, still here at Cadwell Park, having done my first lesson at the Californian Superbike School. Now there's loads of bikes coming in at the moment, which is really exciting. I thought I might as well voice over this particular racket. So, this is a lineup of the students about to be released on the track. Again, beautiful, gorgeous Cadwell weather, and there's a little bit of Steve there, who's like the operations manager, the brain power behind California Superbike School. And I've just finished a quick break over lunch, tried not to carve myself up too much. Um, I've been through two sessions this morning, which has been just amazing just to have the track to practice on. So we've been doing just basically no breaks, which seems really daunting, but actually helps you flow so much nicer and, and get your lines better. And then we've moved on to um, knowing your exact turning points, which has been amazingly really, really useful to get where to turn on the track, which is slightly different to how you'd race, um, but certainly useful to how you get a fast lap. Um, and now I'm about to go out again and do some quick turns. So learning how to really have a short, sharp, 
safe uh, steering input into the bike just to uh, minimize the amount of time you spend steering and get on your line quicker and make that more repeatable. So it's certainly been really um, a massive highlight so far. Um, and it's great to have all these V4 Banagalis cutting about because they sound amazing. I'm just reviewing the last part of level one, the, the first day at the California Superbike School. And it's been a brilliant day because it's Cadwell Park, the sun's shining and you're on two wheels, who couldn't be happier? The bit I found really tricky was the, the, the amount I had to kind of reset what I thought I knew and just go back to day one, week one, I'm riding a bike and think about the drills they were teaching me. So I found that brilliant because you go in with different tactics and techniques that they teach you and you realize that you don't know that much and it's good to just break it down into simple steps and let you open your awareness to how you can take a corner better um, and that's been the biggest kind of most enlightening thing about this now I do have level two tomorrow I feel like my brain is full um, but I'm kind of excited about it because I want to get more time on track and, and more time developing but it's a really intense day and uh, I feel like my, my skills um, have improved already and I want to consolidate that, get into level two and then kind of practice that on the road or if I get out on, on track anytime soon. So it's um, totally worth doing no matter what level you are. Maybe if you've got a few track days in or you're quite competent on the road, it's probably a good start so you can just ride. But um, it's worth just turning up just with an open mind to learn about what else you can do on a motorbike and how you can be safer and more confident and more stable and there if you're a racer it's faster uh, and I guess if you're a road rider it's just just being a better a better rider on the road and better able to deal with different road conditions so yeah super pleased a bit overwhelmed but super excited about tomorrow I am recording from the second day of the Californian Superbike School. The level two today is all about um, reference points and then kind of broadening your vision of the track. So that's been a, a bit of a relevation just to see more of corners than I ever have before. And if you want to get on a bit, the instructors adapt to your style. So I've been able to just get a bit of speed up and that's equally been um, just as liberating to practice those skills at a bit more speed which is where it really matters. Plus if you fancy getting your hand on this lovely uh, Ducati hat there is a link available below. More track time and lining up with Mariuxi. Mariuxi is a flat track and enduro rider but quite handy at wheelies on the mountain. Her and Lucia are doing a fantastic job of promoting motorsport. Uh, it's great to be on the track with her. Mariuxi's just on her way out and I'm going to follow very shortly to practice my level 2 drills. I've sped this up just to not make the footage too long but here we are essentially going through some of our turning points and I would have been practicing some of the level 2 disciplines at this point. I just can't remember which one I was doing. Cadwell Park, I mean seriously, on a day like this why would you want to be anywhere else. It's the end of the day at Cadwell Park. So amazing just to bring it all together. I found the first day like really tricky but level two helped me just ride how I like to ride and unlock a few secrets about how I can be better, how I can have better vision, better field of view um, and just enjoy my time on the track with the basics of level one. Um, I honestly can't recommend this course enough. I wish I'd done it before I was racing. Um, and it, it's not all made sense, but it's an opportunity to now work on those skills um, and, and just be a better better rider and lower those lap times or be safer on the road. So um, yeah, really chuffed to have done these days and it's um, opened up my mind to how what else I could do on a bike, um, which is arguably what, what, what it's about. As you can probably tell, I was pretty tired <laughs> at the end of that video. Um, but I was really trying to express my level of learning that I've been through over those two days. It really is worth the money. 
Thank you loads again for watching. Consider subscribing and join my Acceleration Nation.